Eh. But he's laying there now. They don't get any deader. Beautiful blood trail. You could follow that in your sleep. Here comes one. Pretty good little buck there, little eight point. Bright white foot on the back left leg. Uh, make a mental note of that for the future. Maybe we can see him when he's nice and big and uh, we'll be able to identify him by that. But it's November right now and uh, I just came out this morning to maybe get a doe. And uh, that doesn't mean I can't call in a few bucks just for fun. And uh, that was one there. We stayed on him till he was about 50. And uh, once he was in the wheelhouse, kind of cast him my call down below me. And when he works his way up here to 13 yards, uh, he's looking down there and then he does get a little nervous when he doesn't see what he's looking for. But uh, by then we, if we wanted to harvest that deer, we could have, we could have taken him a hundred times. So, uh, that's just the way I like to do it. I see so many examples out there of people uh, seeing a buck calling to him. He looks, they get quiet. He looks away, they call again. He gets nervous. 
and then uh, they might call again when he looks away again and he gets really nervous and then they throw the snort wheeze at him and he high steps away or runs away so uh, not they if they look towards me I stay on them and uh, they're either gonna come or they're not and rarely do they get nervous if you lay into them and you realize they're not coming and then you give up um, they might walk off they, they don't high step and and run away so uh, that's just how I do it that's an example of just a little bit of blind calling and speaking of blind calling or basically trolling for deer uh, I'm going to take you back to a hunt from October 28th I believe uh, and this is Tom in a new spot uh, we scout this spot and the property kind of pulls us all into this little flat along a creek uh, there's a historical buck bed on the point of that creek where it, it just kind of juts out around uh, it's within 60 yards or so no new rubs in it or anything but it, it's historical sign is important so uh, here's Tom doing some blind calling this hunt is short it's sweet though and uh, as this deer kind of sneaks in on him here's Tom's hunt for his buck of 2021 enjoy I just smoked one. I was just getting ready to check my wind. I heard something and looked, he snuck in behind me. I know that's kind of short. Sorry I didn't get much up to the shot. Whew. Wanna take a minute? Then I'll get the blood trail. Might have to get some help getting him out of here. Whew. It's October the 28th. It's 1120. I just hung this stand last week in this creek bottom. Uh, movement's fairly early. I have a bunch of cows move through. It slows down a little bit. And Right when I hung the stand last week, I had some does in around 11, so I figured I'd sit today till one o'clock. And I was just sitting here waiting. Uh, just went to go check my wind and happened to look over my right and seen a buck, he snuck in on me. Uh, can't really hear down in, in this bottom. The ground's pretty uh, soft, but I ended up getting the camera turned on, grabbed crossbow. Uh, there's not very much footage up to it, so I apologize for that. I'm not sure if you guys could see him crash, but shot him at 23 yards. He only went about 35-ish, and I'm getting ready to get down. We'll uh, get to arrow, blood trail him, and come along. Well, I just found my arrow. Had a clean pass through. First buck with the new 10 point. I had a mishap last year, uncocking my crossbow and ended up uh, splitting my limb. So I had to make a new purchase. I'm gonna go back to the truck, unpack some of my gear, and then come back. I got help on the way. I'm gonna need help dragging this one out. 
I don't have access to a tractor or a four-wheeler. Cows claiming your deer. <laughs> they look like they'd eat good. <laughs> October the 28th I had a good morning hunt I got up in the stand first sit uh, right off the bat had a buck chasing uh, two doe fawns so when I seen that I ended uh, got on a grunt call I made sure to do quite a bit of grunting sequences had a button buck come in he bedded behind me I uh, watched him for a while and then a little after 11 o'clock I was just getting ready to check my wind and this guy snuck up on me. I was 10 yards uh, in a creek bottom, couldn't hear him. Got the crossbow up, got the GoPro turned on. Uh, by the time I was ready to take the shot, he was 23 yards quartered away. Uh, made a nice, nice clean shot on him, only went 20 yards. Uh, blood trail was kind of hard to follow because he went down the cow path. Had probably 40 some cows come through this morning. Uh, it's probably my best buck to date. Couldn't ask for a better one. Uh, this is a new farm for me. Got permission through a good friend of mine uh, in exchange for baling hay all summer. Um, not really sure what's going on down here. Never seen that before. I uh, had some type of infection or was just ready for pre rut. Uh, it's probably a good thing because I don't think the does would appreciate that <laughs> if I let them go to rut. So, uh, might not score the best, but I'm not about that. He got my heart going. I'm happy with him. Uh, wouldn't trade him in for another deer. Just trying to soak in the moment because I know it's going to be a while before I get to see him again. But, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, we appreciate all our views. Hopefully the footage is alright. I didn't get a whole lot of pre-footage. Like I said, he snuck up on me. So I apologize for that. But um, hopefully everything turns out and you guys like it. If you got any comments, uh, let us know. If you want to subscribe, feel free to subscribe. And uh, rut time, make sure you get on a grunt call. Because if it wasn't for the grunt call, I wouldn't have killed the last four or five deer that I have. Because I'm not very lucky. So... Uh, you got to bring them to you. I see the truck, Tom. This is what it's like. I could go if my legs Ain't it great? My legs didn't give out. <laughs> Here, hold these. I'll get both hands on them. Dragon's fun. <laughs> Everybody should experience a lot of it in their lifetime. It builds character. You said you were going the rest I'm of the way. The rest of the way, you give me like five minutes. My legs just burned so bad. I got little legs. My heart's the only thing that burns on me. <laughs> My heart's fine. Maybe I just need to shoot a small one next time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If 
you weren't here, I would have had to range you know, as far as I could have. <laughs> you had to range your buried. Oh, I just really went to where it started to get swampy. Definitely get down to a t-shirt after this. Yeah. I'm no longer chilly. Oops, snapped his rack off. I know, that's why I said that. Oops, so sorry. Man, somebody wiped the whole side off of your truck, Tom. Huh? <laughs> All right, he man. Ready? Yep. Do well, it. Proctor and Gamble. I knew he should flip him. I had to stick his feet up. There we go. He fits. Might slide around a bit. Oh, 